dear students <coughs> i am dr rajiv sapre this is lecture number 23 about the chapter determinant and matrices i appeal again every time at the beginning of the lecture i will appeal to subscribe my channel maths made easy by dr rajiv sapre and take advantage of these lectures about 11th and 12th standard hsc board mathematics but these lectures are useful for cbsc nc ert all sort of syllabus okay so coming to this particular lecture in uh, as in uh, as you know in previous lecture we have studied how to take product of the two matrices and we know the rule that if you have say matrix a whose order is say m into n that means m rows and n columns and then uh, if i want to multiply this by matrix n into p so any two matrices we cannot multiply whenever i am multiplying a and b number of columns of first matrix must be equal to number of rows of the second matrix and the product matrix that we find it's ha it has order m cross p this is the situation and so you should know now here also here what will happen if you uh, start with say b okay i will erase this if you start with b so i want to suppose multiply b and a so b is n cross p matrix and a is m cross n matrix here also here product is not uh, possible because why <coughs> p and m are two integers if p and m are not equal then this matrix is not possible the product is not possible okay if p and m are different uh, integers then this product b into a is not at all possible for example i gave you same example i had given there suppose you have a matrix uh, say 2 into 3 a and uh, b is suppose 3 into 4 <coughs> now product is possible because these two things are same and the product matrix will have order 2 into 4 right this and this is the order of the product matrix but when you talk about b and a so b is 3 by 4 matrix and uh, you are going to multiply that a by 2 by 3 matrix so here this and this is not equal and so ba is not ba does not exist here the product ab is okay but ba it, itself is not possible so remember in general in general matrix multiplication is not commutative but sometimes we can have ab and ba equal first thing is suppose both are square matrices right both are suppose square matrices then possibly means uh, matrix multiplication both a by b and b by a both will be possible but that also does not guarantee that the product is equal because two matrices are equal whenever the corresponding elements are equal okay so one example we will take that uh, suppose a is the matrix okay suppose a is the matrix okay a is the matrix and suppose the elements of the matrix are minus 2 3 minus 1 first row is minus 2 3 minus 1 second row is uh, minus 1 2 minus 1 right and third row is minus 6 9 minus 4 minus 6 9 minus 4 right this is the matrix a and b is suppose the matrix 1 3 minus 1 right then you have 2 2 minus 1 and uh, 3 0 minus 1 what will be ab now a into b is possible because this is the matrix having order 3 by 3 and this is the matrix of order order 3 by 3 so here columns of first matrix whenever i am multiplying a and b a first b then so it is possible because columns and rows are equal columns of uh, uh, first matrix and rows of the second matrix are equal so how to calculate ab as you know it is minus 2 3 minus 1 first row 
then to that second row is minus 2 min 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 third row is minus 6 9 and minus 4 to that we are multiplying by b so it is 1 3 minus 1 then 2 2 minus 1 and 3 0 minus 1 now whenever i take this product you know first row first column then first row second column first row third column this will be the first row of the product matrix so what will be that minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 then uh, 3 into 2 is 6 and this minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 then first row second column so minus 2 into 3 minus 6 3 into 2 plus 6 and uh, this minus 1 into 0 is 0 sorry uh, 3 into 2 is 6 okay and then plus 0 right so whenever you take a product matrix <coughs> about third row now also first row and third column so minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 etc you can continue with this and uh, uh, you will find that product is uh, product of these two uh, matrices comes out to be we will verify minus 2 into 1 here 3 into 2 6 sorry minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 right so total answer here is 1 6 and minus 5 here it is 0 and here also it is 0 so first row of the product matrix comes out to be 0 if you continue with this second row will be 0 1 0 i leave it to you as an exercise third row will be 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so you can see only diagonal entries are there so this is a diagonal matrix and all the diagonal entries are equal to 1 so this is a identity matrix <coughs> so ab is identity matrix what about ba now ba means what first you will write b matrix so 1 3 minus 1 then you have uh, minus 1 sorry 2 2 minus 1 second row of b and third row is 3 0 minus 1 and into a a means what minus 2 3 minus 1 right then you have minus 1 2 minus 1 and uh, minus 6 9 minus 4 now when you take this product a into sorry b into a it will be first row first column so 1 into minus 2 it is minus 2 plus 3 into minus 1 because first row and here first column we are multiplying so this is 1 into minus 2 3 into minus 1 is what it is what 3 into uh, minus 1 so it is minus 3 and then finally minus 1 and minus 6 so it is plus 6 then first row second column see it is 1 3 minus 1 and 3 2 9 if you are not going to if you are not able to do it manually means like this orally then you can write first row is what 1 3 minus 1 i have told this 1 3 minus 1 then what is second column here <coughs> 3 2 9 right so below that you write this second column and then multiply and add so 1 into 3 is 3 3 into 2 is uh, 6 minus 1 into 9 is minus 9 so their addition comes out to be 0 so here it will be 0 this way also you can manage the things so i hope you can continue this and finally you will get 1 0 0 0 because this is 1 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 plus 6 so it is 1 this is 0 1 0 and finally this is 0 0 1 correct so here what we saw a b and b a are same right but each time this is not necessary because what happens i have told you here a b is equal to b a why because this is also identity matrix all this sorry sorry i i by mistake wrote not equal to it is equal to a b and b a are equal and this is equal to identity matrix i Right? This is identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. Now at, in the 11th standard you are not to study this. But whenever product of two matrix is identity matrix. 
then e each of those a is called inverse of b and b is called inverse of a multiplicative inverse see in case of real numbers we know if you have a real number 5 its multiplicative inverse is 1 by 5 because their product is 1 so whatever role 1 plays in 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 the uh, set of real numbers identity plays in set of square matrices identity itself is a square matrix and so when you have two square matrices and suppose their product is identity right then you will say that a and b means whatever those two matrices are there we uh, say that those matrices are inverses of each other inverse a inverse raised to minus one inverse means b that means if you multiply a and b it will be identity matrix okay so this is the issue <coughs> this you have to remember properly so i uh, have explained how the product of the two matrices is taken and some properties some properties in the sense product of a and b if it exists product of b and a need not exist also suppose it exists but still it is not necessarily equal a b is not equal to b a necessarily sometimes in the previous example we have seen that uh, a b and b a are same and both were identity matrix so i told when it is identity matrix <coughs> so when product of two matrices is identity matrix then each matrix is inverse of other म्हणजे a and b यांचा गुणाकार जर identity matrix येत असेल तर a हा b चा इनवर्स आहे एंड आल्सो b इज इनवर्स ऑफ a राइट नाउ देयर आर वैरायटीज ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कैन बी आस्क्ड अबाउट द मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन फॉर एग्जांपल टेक वन प्रॉब्लम से a is equal to गिवन टू यू एज से 2 by 2 मैट्रिक 4 8 minus 2 minus 4 4 8 एंड देन minus 2 minus 4 what is a square so they have asked you prove that i will write pt for prove that a square is zero zero means not real number zero matrix see ata a ha jo matrix hai na a square tumhi karnar mhanje kay karnar tar ithe 4 8 ani ithe minus 2 minus 4 to that you will multiply by again 4 8 ani minus 2 minus 4 right now what will be the product matrix See first row, first column. Now here it is two by two matrix. Here also it is two by two matrix. So columns of first matrix, rows of second matrix do match. So product is possible. And what will be the order of the product matrix? Again, it is two and two into two. So what is first row and first column? It is four into four, sixteen. And plus eight into minus two, which is minus sixteen. Then first row, second column means what? Four into eight, thirty-two and plus 8 into minus 4 means minus 32 right so both elements are 0 and then minus 2 now second row first column so it will be what minus 2 into 4 which is minus 8 and plus minus 4 into minus 2 which is plus 8 and now second row second column means what minus 2 into 8 minus 16 and uh, plus minus 4 into minus 4 so it is plus 16 so finally what i get out of this product i get 0 0 0 0 so all the elements of this matrix are equal to 0 so this is a zero matrix correct so we have proved that okay then you can also prove you take any three matrices where product is possible or if you take square matrix etc then uh, uh, you can uh, calculate right you can calculate uh, or you can verify suppose i take three matrices then you can verify a into bc is same as a b into c so here b and c are clubbed together and here a and b are clubbed together this property is called associative property the order is same see a b c first matrix is a second is b third is c here also first is a second is b third is c but here we are doing next two matrices second and third in one bracket and here first two in one bracket c is outside here a is outside 
but whenever you take product of bc and multi and again a into bc here ab first we will take to that you will multiply by matrix c you will see that both these uh, products are equal and this property is called associative property of multiplication so you can take some matrices a a b c and verify this is associativity okay of matrix multiplication of matrix multiplication okay so this is how these pro problems are done okay now we will do another problem what they ask you is many problems can be done and remember whenever you solve many problems as many problem solving as possible you do it will help you to broaden your ideas about the topic and uh, understanding also increases because practice will make you perfect in any field not only in mathematics practice will make you perfect okay now uh, 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 we will consider another question right uh, so see what is asked is find the value of k find k if a is the matrix 3 minus 2 these are set 2 by 2 means set order 2 matrices order 2 square matrices 3 minus 2 and uh, second row is 4 minus 2 and what you are supposed to prove is uh, sorry and also it is given and a square is equal to k i k a minus 2 i k a minus 2 i and you have to find k okay so we will first calculate so solution whenever you will like to have what is the given to you what is given a square is equal to k a minus 2 i is given so what does it mean k a is equal to a squared plus 2 i i took this minus 2 i on uh, left hand side and wrote uh, right hand side first what is remaining here k a so that i write it as a left hand side so I, what i get is k a is a square plus 2 i so now what so uh, you are okay what is k into a so it is k into this matrix 3 minus 2 and then 4 minus 2 right now this is equal to a square a square means what product of two matrices a and a so 3 minus 2 4 minus 2 into again same matrix 3 minus 2 and 4 minus 2 and minus 2 i minus 2 i means what 2 into identity matrix 1 0 0 1 okay so now what it is uh, uh, k into this means what every this is a scalar multiplication matrix la ekada scalar ne multiply karna what do you mean by that you have to multiply every element in the matrix by that scalar so here it will be what left hand side will be 3k then minus 2k then what 4k and minus minus 2k is the uh, your left hand side now this product you have to take so first row first column now you should understand properly 3 into 3 9 minus 2 into 4 8 so it is 9 minus 8 so 1 now second row first row sorry first row second column so 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 and minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4 minus 6 plus 4 so it is minus 2 here so only kartayana garje chai ko practice karavi lage ma second row first column mhanje 4 trick 12 ani waza 2 gune le 4 12 waza 8 mhanje te 4 jhalo ani mag ha ani ha mhanje 4 ani waza 2 waza 8 ani waza 2 waza 2 adhik 4 waza 8 adhik 4 mhanje te minus 4 jhale ani tyachatun tumhala he waza karaycha mhanje kay 2i 2 ne at multiply karaycha mhanje te kay honar 2002 okay so i have to subtract so what i get
okay so here i will uh, i will subtract so what i get this is 1 minus 2 <coughs> See whether we are getting, we are doing correctly all these things. Okay, a square plus two, I know, minus two, a square plus two. So here it will be plus. So here it will be plus. So what I get is one plus two, which is three, one and two, then minus two and zero. So minus two, then four and plus zero. So it is four, and here minus four plus two which is minus 2. So we have to equate these two matrices and you know how matrices are when matrices are equal when their corresponding elements are equal. So now here first element is 3k here it is 3. So what you get is 3k is equal to 3 there only you get the answer k is equal to 1. You can just verify now minus 2k is minus 2 so again k is 1 then 4k is equal to 4 so k is 1. And this minus 2k is minus 2. So again k is 1. So see how simple the problems are. So you should know how to add two matrices, how to uh, multiply two matrices and all these things. Okay. Now we will uh, do one uh, more problem but that I think we will do in the next lecture. So next lecture probably will be end of this chapter <coughs> means uh, it will be 24th lecture and i have discussed uh, consider determinants and matrices all these things in these 24 lectures it will be like that so it is a nice collection of uh, material about determinant and matrices so all the problems in the textbook i am not interested in solving my lecture should not be used as a guide you should be able to think about the processes right that will be very helpful to you okay so with this i will stop here at this lecture uh, we will continue in the next lecture again at the end i appeal to subscribe my channel maths made easy by dr rajiv sapri thank you have a nice day